Is time travel real? Well, most people think so. Time travel is just a storytelling device from the realm of science fiction. But what if we were to tell you that there are people out there who claim that they're time travelers? Are they insane? Or could Star Trek be less fictional than we may think? These are 20 time travelers that will convince you it's real. Number 20. Mazut Ozil have you or someone you know ever look like someone else in the uncanny way, as in you look exactly like them in one form or another? If so, that's not an uncommon occurrence, depending on the situation. For example, there are plenty of kids who look like their parents and are complimented on it all the time. I speak from experience on this one. But there are some instances where a person looks like someone not from their own family, but someone from history. A great example of that is Mazut Ozil, a soccer or football player whose name I've probably mispronounced. When you look at the picture, you may not think that he looks like anyone in particular, but in 2016, a picture of Enzo Ferrari, the creator of the legendary car brand, went around and people were stunned by how much that Enzo and Mazut look like each other. Now, if you look at their facial features, especially their eyes and nose, you would swear that they were the same person. Obviously, the hair may be different, but that's something that a time traveler could easily change to not draw suspension on themselves. But wait, there's also another twist here. The Italian motor racing driver and entrepreneur died in August of 1988 giving just enough time for the reincarnation process to happen. So this is a soul kind of time travel, as it would be reincarnation instead of working through time via a device. It is stretching things a bit, but when has that ever stopped us before? You have to admit the resemblance is uncanny, and to be clear, there is no direct relation to each other. So how is it possible that their genes made them look so alike? The world may never know, but you can theorize in the comments section down below. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. There's a pretty mad theory out there about Barack Obama. People are convinced he's a time traveler, and this is the photo that they say proves it. The image from the 19th century shows a man who admittedly does look an awful lot like the former president, so people have jumped to the conclusion that they are one and the same. But what do you think? Does this theory hold any validity? Or are there just two men who look similar? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag sweet topic. Number 19. Green Children of Woolpit Now there's a name that fits in a storybook tale like the one I'm about to tell you. The story of the Green Children of Woolpit comes from the writings of two medieval historians, William of Newburgh and Ralph of Coggeshall. In the tales, there were two children that were found just outside of a village near the wolf pits that would be used to capture animals. On that alone, there's not much to say about time travel or anything else. However, when you dig deeper, you'll find that these were no ordinary children. Their skin was green and they spoke in an unknown language, and they also wore unfamiliar familiar clothing. Another curiosity was one of the local townspeople took them in and they allegedly refused to eat for many days. When was the last time that you saw that happen with a child? What's more, they only ate raw beans when they did eat, and if you're still not convinced, after the brother died, the sister learned how to talk and she revealed quite the tale. In her recollection of her home, everyone had green skin, the sun never shined, but it was a Christian faith, and there were churches. Talk about clashing styles. But she was not done after that. She went on to say that she had no clue how her brother and her had ended up in Woolpit, and she claimed that she had been with her brother herding cattle when they simply got lost, entered into a cave, heard the sound of bells, and then followed it and ended up near the wolf pit. That's where the time travel claims come from, as some felt that they were from the past or some kind of dystopian future and were somehow beamed into our time. There's been a lot of debate whether this tale was true or whether it was a very well-spun yarn. Number 18. Time Traveler on Film 
Now here's one that would be quite interesting if it were true. The first commercial cell phones did not hit the market until the early 1980s, as you well all know. However, one Irish filmmaker said that he spotted one in footage from a vintage Charlie Chaplin film from 1928. George Clark was the one who made this discovery and then said in a YouTube video that the cell phone toting futurist was actually a time traveler, which is a bold claim, but if that person in the film was holding a cell phone, that would be very hard to explain. The film in question is called The Circus and is one of the many films that Charlie Chaplin made. The scene in question shows a woman, or perhaps a man, in a long black coat walking down the street and appearing to hold something up to their ear. Now, before you say that person is off their rocker or just looking for attention, the person did their due diligence before posting the video to YouTube. For example, he went to over 100 people, showed them the footage, and then asked them to come up with an explanation for what it was. And they couldn't come up with a reasonable answer. So he then went to the internet, as you would expect, and there were a cavalcade of ideas. Some said the person was holding a hearing aid, which did exist in the 1920s. Others felt that the person was trying to hear something and cupping their ear to get a better listen, which many of us have done in the modern times. The answers went on from there, but you can see why the clip is so fascinating. Fascinating. It appears that the person is a time traveler and that they have technology that they shouldn't have, because who wouldn't want to talk about that? Number 17. Adidas Sneakers from the Past There are many shoe brands in the world today. There are people who make millions upon millions of dollars just by making or promoting shoes. And let's not forget how Michael Jordan became a legend on the court and off of it thanks to things like his Air Jordans. But I'm not talking about Nike right now. I'm talking about Adidas and a specific pair of sneakers that may have broken the laws of physics and time traveled. Well, not really, but there is a fun story to be had here. In 2016, a Mongolian mummy would be found in the mountains of Siberia, and as you would expect, that mummy was very well preserved due to being frozen in ice. Archaeologists suspect that this is one of the first complete burials ever found of a Turkic person, a vast collection of ethnic groups that spanned Central Asia and Siberia during the 6th century BC. That alone would be cool enough, but when you look at the mummy, you're going to notice that there is something unique around their feet. It looks like they wore a pair of sneakers. Now, obviously, they are not sneakers that we know and love today. However, they do bear a striking resemblance to Adidas sneakers, especially in the laces. Believe it or not, scientists use these shoes and other things the mummy was buried with as a sign that they were rather wealthy before they had died. Though, they also said the mummy was likely not in the elite class of their people due to only having one horse being buried with them, which is odd to say, but that also seems to indicate that the people of their culture were wealthy enough, even in the middle class, to buy such a luxury item like nice shoes. Number 16. The Future Man now we'll take a look at things from a different perspective, because when there are topics of conversation that breach the realms of science fiction or even mythology, there's always a chance that people will come around to prey upon the sentiment, meaning that they'll claim to be in the same party of believers or even proof of their idea, but they're really not. Even with time travel, you get people who claim one thing, but you can't believe it. In 2021, one person said that he was teleported to the future and met an older version of himself at around the age of 70, confirming it when the man showed him an identical tattoo that he had on his arm. Now, you have to admit, that's the perfect time travel story. You know, he met himself in the future, and that person could prove it was him due to a tattoo they both had. Allegedly, the man was working somewhere and needed to fix a pipe. So he went deeper into the place and ended up in the future. After meeting his future self, he then pulled out his phone and took a picture with the older version. The documentary that was filmed around this had some people wondering if it could actually be true. However, others were not fooled. 
first, it was hard to believe that the only proof that the guy looked for was a matching tattoo, and secondly, those who saw the tattoo noticed that it looked like it was fresh ink, whereas a tattoo that's been on someone for a while would fade or bleed into the skin. The final nail in the coffin is that the video would later be revealed to be part of a marketing campaign, so that's why it looked so good, because it was meant to be that way. That's why you don't believe everything you see on the internet, or in this case, the TikTok. That stuff will rot your brain. Number 15. Vladimir Putin I'll be honest right out of the gate with this one. Vladimir Putin is not the most popular man in the world and for some various reasons. He's done a lot of very tricky and questionable things as the leader of Russia, and a lot of people just aren't very happy of him or trust him very much. So, the idea of him being a time traveler is not a thought that many of us would like to picture in any way, shape, or form. After all, that would also mean that he has more power and that he can't be trusted with any power of any kind. So, what started this horrifying rumor? Well, believe it or not, it goes back to pictures. One picture taken in 1920 is that of a Russian soldier who looks like Putin. A separate historic snap, also believed to be of a Russian soldier, would be taken in 1941, and again, it looks like Vladimir Putin. You have to admit that there are some striking similarities between the two men in those pictures and Putin, and that goes especially for the face, of which Putin has quite a distinctive look. Now, not unlike our first entry, it's very unlikely that Putin is a time traveler or even reincarnated. And then again, for those who do believe in reincarnation, it would be interesting that Putin's soul continues to find itself in Russia, almost as if he never wants to leave there, something that I'm sure he feels right now, but for megalomaniacal reasons. Oh, and the other explanation to this theory is that Putin is immortal, and that's even more horrifying. Number 14. Time Traveling Hippie I'm going in this direction because, you know, that's where you go. Whereas Vladimir Putin cannot be trusted with time travel, a hippie might actually be a different story. After all, in theory at least, they would want to use time travel to see the sights and to promote peace and love. Which we could have definitely used more of in certain parts of history. But this is not a hypothetical question. There are some who actually wonder if a certain hipster had the ability to time travel. The picture that contains this proof was taken in 1941, and if you look at the picture as a whole, you might not notice anything wrong. However, in the middle of the gathered people, to the right, is a curiously dressed hipster wearing what looks like a printed t-shirt, modern sunglasses, and most interestingly, holding what looked to be a compact camera, which was of course almost non-existent around this date. And you can tell that he doesn't belong there due to his looks, his stance, and the overall placement in the shot. So is it actually a time traveler? Well, that's hard to say, honestly. It's believed that because of the age of the picture, it would have been hard to edit. And furthermore, the look of the guy can be explained via outfits and pieces that were around in 1941, which includes that camera. Plus, if you think about the phrase, there's always that one person who stands out in the crowd. You might get another explanation for what happened here. Number 13. The Cell Phone Again it's another cell phone story, and this one cannot possibly be fake, right? Well, don't worry, it's not about an old film that stars Charlie Chaplin. Rather, it's about a painting that seemingly depicts a woman that's holding a cell phone, which would be a very odd indeed. The expected one, a painting by 19th century Austrian artist Ferdinand George Waldmuller, was made specifically in 1860, a mere 11 years after Alexander Graham Bell made the first working telephone, and many, many years before the cell phone would even be considered. And yet, when certain people have looked at that painting in the more modern times, they cannot help but express that the painting looks like a woman holding a cell phone. Which would mean that the artist either saw a woman with a cell phone in 1860 and decided to paint her, or knew about cell phones and depicted a woman of that time with one. So which one is it? 
Well, it's neither. As many have gone on to explain, this visualization of the cell phone is nothing more than our modern brains transplanting a familiar image into something older. If you think about the time period and other objects that look like a cell phone, you can very easily see that this is a young woman who has a prayer book that she's looking at intently in the shot. But because small prayer books aren't the norm as they were in the 1800s, everyone immediately sees a cell phone. I'm kind of also sure that she would have had poor reception in that area, just saying. Number 12. The Greek Laptop now, I'm sure that a certain Grand Theft Auto meme would be appropriate here, but I'll take the high road and not say it out loud. But you likely know the one I'm talking about, because there is a Greek statue that apparently depicts a woman going onto a laptop, and there are plenty of people who believe that this is a real thing. The irony here is that the Greeks did invent a computer of sorts well before anything like it was constructed. However, that was an analog computer, and it was used to track the stars above for sailors. But a portable laptop in ancient Greece, that's a bit of a yarn that is hard to swallow for various reasons. Sure enough, many people rose up to debunk this claim through various means, which includes saying that it wasn't a laptop, it was actually a thin chest that was typical of certain rituals within Greece. Also, why would the woman need someone to hold up the laptop for her? The point of a laptop is that you can place it anywhere so that you can type on it. The position that she's in does doesn't really work for the laptop idea. This is another case of our modern minds seeing something ancient and trying to interpret what we're witnessing. It's not bad per se, as long as we can acknowledge what we're really seeing and not jump to a conclusion such as time travel. Number 11. Greta Thunberg there are some people out there who would be absolutely fine with Greta Thunberg being a time traveler or even immortal, mainly because she's someone who's dedicating her life to trying to save the planet and she's not even yet 21 years old. But there was a picture going around that did show a young girl from 1898 that seemed to look exactly like Greta Thunberg. Now, once again, it has to be admitted that there is a resemblance there, and it would be foolish to say that resemblance is not uncanny. But obviously, it's not really time travel. If for no other reason, then there's no logical explanation for her going back to 1898, or her going from 1898 to now, and somehow being able to do everything that she's done. Besides, if Greta did have the ability to time travel, she would have brought some science with her to the early days of things like the combustion engine and helped them to create a product that would not have any emissions so that the world wouldn't be suffering the greenhouse problem that is slowly building up. Now, I do want to note that when this image first circulated, she did post a picture around the same time of her in a similarly colored lighting, so perhaps she saw her other self and thought it would be fun to have a moment in time together. Number 10. Shirley Temple Cell Phone here is another case of cell phones in old places that happened online when Henry Fonda and Shirley Temple thought to check their stagecoach route on an iPhone in the movie Fort Apache back in 1948. When you look at the picture, things do look as they are stated, with Fonda looking at something that does look like a cell phone, but there were not cell phones back then. What's more, the movie was trying to depict a certain time period, so why would a cell phone appear in it and not be questioned by the cast, the crew, the director, and then the audience. Sometimes, you know, a cigar is just a cigar, and it's not a cell phone in the shape of one. Number 9. The Dab History is full of a lot of oddities, and when it comes to dancing, things have certainly evolved over the years. There used to be very elegant dances that were done at galas, and then it became more free flow like break dancing. And then there are one-off moves that people like to do to show their style and flavor. Enter The Dab, an all-time classic of recent years that has spread throughout pop culture, but did The Dab first occur in 1932? A picture of that period indicates that, as one man in the group was clearly doing The Dab. Theoretically speaking, 
it is possible that people have been doing a dab-like move before it ever became super popular, but is that the case here? Well, no, it is not. This photograph was actually captured in the summer of 2016, showing a group of extras from the feature film Dunkirk. So yeah, it was not from the past, it was actually from the present depicting a movie from the past, which is totally different. Number 8. John Titor Remember when I talked about how people were more than happy to take advantage of a situation or topic to make them seem like they were part of a group or something of the like? Well, John Titor is another example of doing that for time travel believers. In the early days of the internet, a person named John Titor posted on various websites and message boards claiming that he had come from the year 2036. He attempted to prove this by highlighting things that were going to happen in the future that would eventually lead to the world that he came from. The problem? Well, so far, all of his predictions have amounted to nothing. Now, yes, it is true that we're only in 2023 and that we're 13 years from his future time, but you would think that he would have given us predictions that were going to happen sooner and not later. Number 7. The Visitor in Iceland Sleuths on Facebook would spot an odd-looking fellow in a black-and-white 1940s photograph where he appears to be using a device that is way too high-tech for that decade. The mystery dawns back to 1943 in Iceland, and you can clearly see the man in the photograph holding something to his ear, which is a very common phrase in this video, apparently. Anyways, once people saw the picture, the thoughts would immediately go to time travel. Some would even back this up by noting how the man's attire was much different from the people around him, which is fair on that metric alone. However, there are other things that he could have been holding. He could have been from out of town, and thus he could have simply dressed a different way. Number 6. Ancient Egyptian Hieroglyphs now here's one that has potential if you look at it in the right way. After all, many ancient cultures have mysteries that have not been solved, and the ancient Egyptians are easily near the top of that list. They've done all sorts of things during their time, so why not be involved in time travel? Specifically, some people noticed that certain hieroglyphs resembled items from the future, which included a helicopter or other aerial vehicles. Given that the Egyptians had nothing close to that, that we know of, why why would that be on the walls of their pyramids? The answer does come from history and other hieroglyphs. When talking about certain pharaohs on their walls, they would use specialized symbols to represent them. And like other entries on this list, some people see them and project our modern technology onto them to make sense of what they're seeing. So what you see is not always what you get. Number 5. The Surfer Man now, you would think that people would have learned by now, but where's the fun in that? A photo that was taken more than 100 years ago in Canada portrays a group of men, women, and children sitting on the side of a hill. And when you glimpse at it, it does seem fine. Nothing truly is out of the ordinary. But then when you look closer, you'll see the surfer man within. He is wearing a very baggy t-shirt and shorts, sporting a modern windswept haircut, and is clearly at odds with every everyone else around him. So, not unlike another out-of-place man in a photo, the question was, is he a time traveler? Well, no. As noted by those who looked into it, the man's clothes were common at the time by certain people, which included U.S. Navy sailors. So, for whatever reason, he wore those clothes for that picture, and he stood out like a sore thumb. Number 4. World War II Reincarnation now, believe it or not, there are plenty of people out there who believe in reincarnation. What's more, there are unexplained cases, as in really unexplainable, of people who have seemingly reincarnated over the years. One such case was with a child named James, who, when he was two years old, would have frightening nightmares that didn't make sense to him. He kept screaming, playing on fire, and would call out the name James Larson, amongst other things. The father of the boy looked into it and believed 
believe that his son was reincarnated from a World War II fighter pilot who tried to escape from a burning plane that he was in. Now, I'm not going to deny this one because more weird stories like this have been brought to people's attention, so I'll simply leave it to you to make your own conclusions in the comments down below. Number 3. More Cell Phones Back when Mike Tyson was one of the biggest names in boxing, there was a snapshot that made people believe that there was a time traveler watching one of his fights. As you can see in the picture, the person behind Iron Mike Tyson is holding a device or something that seemingly looks like a cell phone. Given that this was well before mobile devices had working cameras, it's hard to think about it being anything but a cell phone from the future. Except, as many people later pointed out, it is not not a cell phone from the future. It's a slim camcorder, and they even showed pictures to highlight which one that it looks like. Number 2. Painting a Cell Phone Created by Pieter de Hooch, a Dutch Golden Age painter, the artwork in question features a man who appears to be holding a smartphone. Named Young Woman with a Letter and a Messenger in an Interior, the painting was created in 1670. So again, well before phones or even cell phones were an idea in some person's head. So how do we explain what it is that's in the painting? It could be any number of things. Despite what people seem to want to believe, there are plenty of items that are shaped like cell phones. Some are notebooks or pads of paper, or even regular books or something else. The painting even says that the man is a messenger, so it might have well been something for his trade. Number 1. Celebrities Through Time We'll end on a more happier note. As we started out this video, there are some celebrities who do look like figures of the past. But what may surprise you is how many of these celebrities get tied into time travel world. For example, there are numerous pictures that seem to indicate that Nicolas Cage has been alive for a lot longer than he would claim. Now, we have no doubt that Cage is immortal, but not for the reasons you may be thinking. Matt Damon, Keanu Reeves, and more have all been tagged in these amazing photos, and so the real question is, who has not time-traveled at this point? That's all from the realm of time travel and the odd cases of people and items that may just prove that it exists. Do you believe that any of these cases are concrete proof of time travel, or are these merely a series of coincidences that cannot be fully explained? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.